Richie just dropped off the trailer so that we can head out to Southington. We got hopefully a pickup to do, possibly today or tomorrow. We're trying to get all over today. 275s, a 65, and some discus. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, hey, Hoover and I, we were out here just cleaning out some of the leaves. We never did really clean this one very good, so we were out here cleaning the leaves. But look at that. I don't know if you can spot it, but right there, look, there's a bud on that lily. And those leaves are starting to turn green, and that one's starting to open. And it's only, what, the 6th of March. Not bad. Alright, so we didn't do too bad. We got all this stuff out of the pond. So, not bad. It'll need more work, but that's a start. We took that big plant off of there the other day, me and Rich. We put the statue back up. It's getting there. You got me swearing on there, didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. One. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. How far down are we going? We're right, right where this water's pouring down, right past it. We're going to flip it in. All right. You know when you're ready. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Look at it when you're ready. How about that? <laughs> I was ready. My hand slipped off. Boy, it slipped off. <laughs> Good, too. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, now you can't slide it. We got to do I'm yeah, I was good. Because when that goes, it's going straight to the bottom. And we need a net or something to shoot them off. That's, that's, you. Up it's going to hit the that's okay. Just go with one big swoop. One, two, three. That <laughs> yeah, was a big splash. <laughs> We didn't hit no fish. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> well, it's Monday. It's past four. It's already 4.15. We still haven't heard from that woman with the 275s, the 65, the stands, and the discus. Uh, you know, we've had this trailer sitting here since yesterday. Of course, we finished cleaning up and everything, and some people just left. And guess what? <laughs> we did good. We got one guy that we knew was coming by, some carts and stuff. We put them aside. But it's all gone. Everything's gone. We just got a couple things to clean up and get rid of. So, we can do. But uh, my video was going to be yesterday of going and getting that rescue. Or today going to get rescue. Rich told me come on out and see, you know, what happens. And hopefully she calls. But... She still hasn't called. We don't think she is. So, looks like I'll do a few minutes of our friends, our fishy friends. Haven't seen them in a while. And within a day or two, we'll be doing that rescue anyways. But, you can see the Bala Sharks are getting much, much better. Uh, that poor puffer, he just chewed these guys up. He chewed everybody up. Couldn't believe it, but... And you can see the new ones. That's one of the ones we stuck in. Where's the other? Right here. Yeah, beautiful, huh? Yeah. They're awesome. Okay. And we got those iridescents. We still got four left to get rid of. All the other ones down there are gone. Those are gone. Those are still being medicated. These are the ones that came in yesterday from Ben. And he picked up a couple filters and things like that. I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of weird catfish or something. I don't know. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'll have to look it up. What do you guys tell me? Well, that's rich too. But, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. And he brought some cichlids in here, of course. And the giant tiger fish doing good. And of course, I showed this to the people been hiding. You can see his fin back there going. But... That's Josh's uh, dolphin, one of the dolphin fishes. And of course our cichlid tank. And they're all 
doing good. I think I'm gonna feed them. See, they always think I'm right there bed. Boy, that baby's at the bottom. This is a cool looking one, isn't he? <laughs> There's some beautiful fish in here. Okay. And these are the two we're keeping. We got rid of the others. These two are going to go into the pond, obviously. She's so beautiful. And all left is the iridescent. We got a red tail, I think, in there. And we got the gar in here. We got three fish left in here. And Thanos is doing good as always. Who's a big boy? Yeah, you're a good boy, aren't you? Such a clown. And my girl Lavaca. What's up, sweetheart? Took the clams out, got rid of them. I'll bring you over some more next week, then, honey. I promise I will. Yeah. And uh, people that came through, we were able to, uh, you know, game a tour as well. They just left, as a matter of fact, and we still haven't heard. That's why I'm like, well, I better get in here and start doing a video. But we were able to light up the sign for them and give them a thrill. So, and everything, everybody's doing good over here. And that Asian red tail catfish. I think that is. Everybody else doing really good. And they were amazed. They've been watching our videos for like a month before they came down here and picked up some things and everything. And of course, like everybody else, they're like astounded at how big the tanks actually are and how cool the fish actually are. And how much different it all looks up close. Just ain't the same as what you see on film, that's for sure. Okay. And what's up, Hubert? What's up, buddy? How you doing? You good boy, huh, buddy? Yeah, you're such a good boy. And of course, I got a kick out of the albino tank. Who doesn't? I mean, look at those guys. And they thought these were the big fish. Until <laughs> they went out and seen the monster pond. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was the video, I mean, they were halfway through by the time I got here. and. We didn't know if that lady was call, you know, gonna, you know, call up for us to pick him up. So Hoover was showing him real quick. So I gave him a break and finished the tour while he ran in and got something neat just in case she calls up and we can do this rescue still. There's our other baby Arapaima. He's doing awesome. Yeah. All right. What's up, big bay? Such a big girl. So much more room in here. Well, the West Virginia Aquarium took quite a few uh, species out, so much, much more room. A couple of them got moved into the big pond as well. Okay. You're good, aren't you? Take a look at the pond real quick. Josh is sturgeon. Of course, all the goldfish want to get in the picture. <laughs> Hard to film them. But he's just so cool. I love his golden eyes. He's so neat. So majestic. So streamlined. Can't wait to see him get big. What a cool fish. And there's one of the marble tilapias that they just stuck in the other day. There's our musk turtle right in the middle there. And there was another uh, shovel nose that was put in here the other day as well. Oh, there he is right there. He was just put in by Josh too, I believe. Like two or three, I believe, were put in. Of course, everybody doing good. And that log, you seen what happened there. <laughs> that came out of the 3,000. 
Give it more room in the 3,000. We'll probably move it around in here. Once it's underwater, it's not too, too bad to try and move. But boy, oh boy, that thing is heavy. Everybody looking good. And we're going to have to get in this water and go swimming here and start doing some mermaid things. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, I see the salt water tank real quick. And let's see, he did have his... Oh, there he is. Mr. Eel, more Eel, what's up, buddy? He's my favorite. I mean, I like the clownfish, and I like all the, you know, the black coral, but he's cool. He's my favorite. Well, it's going to take a while, but I can't wait to see that all transferred and working on this. I'm sure next week we'll start again getting underneath and starting to get some of that put together. Uh, in the meantime, we still got this tank to give away and a couple more outside. All right, Rich's front toes up. He, he was talking about it, he's wondering, hmm. If we take that little puffer and put them in here, will we get rid of all these snails for us? Any of you guys alone? Because boy, he sure got a snail problem in this tank. <laughs> this guy's got such a cool big black tail on him. This concert. Awesome. And all the bass. They aren't shy at all anymore. It used to be they're all high, now all seven of them. Oh, there's another one of those cosmos with a big tail like I was showing you. Kind of cool looking, aren't they? But yeah, now none of them are hiding in the rocks. They all come out, which is cool. Kind of hard to admire them when they're hiding. <laughs> but not anymore. Now they come right out. Gold ones, those are my favorite. He's kind of cool too. He's got a neat pattern on him. Yeah, I like the pattern on him. Alright. And they just got fed. We let them put in some food so they got a little fed. But there's our shack koi fries. We're going to have to get over there and clean that one again. Oh. Yeah, we could check the back pond real quick. Brr, it's cold out today. Not like 60, 70 the last couple of days. Yeah, back to March temperatures. Every now and then you see them swimming in through here. So a few of them have become active, but they'll probably go dormant when it gets cold here again. But uh, just look at all that algae. And I remember it wasn't quite this bad. It was just about like this last year when I seen it. And I'm like, dude, you're going to have so much trouble getting out. He goes, no, no, no. As soon as it gets to certain degrees, these guys come out and eat it all. I really didn't believe them. But I tell you what, within a week, week and a half, they, it was gone. Every bit of algae was taken and eaten up. That's what he said. They'll eat it. As soon as they're done eating it, it's like 50 degrees or so. And he starts feeding them. And they're good to go. So... <laughs> You know, again, I kind of disbelieved them, but not anymore. River really running high. You can see it over there. And you can see how much the neighbor's yard's filling up all the way over to there and there. So I can see it over there on that side too by the bucket on the other side of the bucket. But yeah, it's been raining a lot. Alrighty. I almost forgot the alligator jar. How can I forget him? He's so cool. What's up, big fella? Mm, I almost forgot the tortoise. <laughs> and it looks like he got... Okay, there he goes. For a minute, I thought he was stuck. <laughs> Chomper, what are you doing, buddy? Hmm? A little foot all passed out under there, taking a nap. What's up, Chomper? What's up, buddy? Yeah, he's a good boy. I almost forgot the tortoises. There's actually the tortoises. 
We got the 750. Those are the ones we just stuck in that Josh just put in. Here's our Western lumpfish. 750, everybody doing real good. And then we got our Australian lungfish, and who's really active today? He's like, oh, you gonna feed me? Talk about anything gonna feed you? No, that's not my job. Sorry, buddy. But he getting big, isn't he, people? Crawl big. And this is that certain type of, I, did, I forget the name of it, but that's that chiclet that somebody brought. Cichlet. <laughs> hey, they're chiclets, what can I say? that somebody brought in and it's one that Rich doesn't have in the tank. So that'll make for a nice audition once he comes out of quarantine. And of course our little pupper dude. Dude what are we gonna do with you? Hmm. You <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how Eric does it with, with his puppers and then we get them and you guys just tear up everything. So we'll have to figure something out. But this is the one Rich was talking about putting in maybe the frontosa and see if they would eat all the snails without messing with the, you know, the frontosa fish themselves. I don't know. Interesting question. So I'll have to check on something like that. But I think uh, I'll check in with Rich, but it's almost 4.30. I don't think that rescue is happening. Even if it does, they can come my way. It's up on my house, so... I'll probably head home and show you guys, uh, you know, little dude's cage, maybe feed him tonight, and we'll call it a day. Alright everybody, uh, I'm getting ready to feed little dude, but uh, yeah, the lady, uh, we didn't get a hold of her, so hopefully uh, we can get a hold of her come, we're trying to set it up for Friday, see if that works. In the meantime, Rich came up with one we kind of backlogged and forgot about. And he's in Norwalk. We already put out a Facebook, see if anybody else is going to need anything. We'll be taking off to do that on Wednesday. And uh, we'll be out in that area around noonish. So any people out there, let us know if you need a pickup. And we can come out. And in the meantime, Couple people call him a pea pupper, but no, he's a green spotted pupper. And he's so cool. He'll get eventually up to six inches long. I'm gonna stick some food in. Uh, I gotta get a bigger tank eventually down the road, but right now, you know, for what we're doing, I think he looks pretty cool. But he knows he's getting fed. <laughs> he knows it. He's like, oh yes, feed me, daddy. So let's feed him. So put it up there. There you go, big guy. Okay. So, Hoover and I, we're going to do that. We called him. It's an iridescent. Uh, he's about 12 inches long or so. And then he said he had a red devil, I believe it was. I'll have to go back and listen. Uh, I'm not all that accurate, but he does have another fish for us to pick up. He's got like seven tanks. So, we'll do a little tour. Um... Of his place he won't be there there'll be a buddy of his there and his wife but unfortunately she uh her uh she pulled up didn't bust her knee but the bone came out and came over so she ain't walking she can't walk it's weird the way you go up and it goes out of focus there it goes but yeah he's just loving it and tearing it up and within you know, a minute and a half or so, his belly is going to be so full. Unbelievable. And somebody suggested it, and I tried it, and it works. And I shut off the filter. That way it doesn't go all around. And he has a better chance of eating it all. And then after a minute or two, I go ahead and turn the filter back on, and everything gets clean and looks good. So... Other than that, you know, we got a bunch of other stuff coming up, and we got so many plans going on, but weather permitting and weather's getting better. So, you guys stay tuned. You hit that like, sh 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 <laughs> hit that like, subscribe, and share, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.